I'm Anthony Trugman, and I've lived in Tucson for uh, 20 years. And we are embarking on a very Tucsonan experience, uh, heading up to Mount Lemmon Ski Valley. What's so interesting about this experience is that we are in the desert, as you can see, saguaros, but we're heading up to approximately, I think Mount Lemmon's about 9,000 feet in elevation, which gives us snow at this time of year when we're lucky. And that, that transition is stark and almost surreal because you're going from one extreme to the other in a matter of minutes, really. It's the most southern spot you can go skiing in the contiguous uh, 48 states. The proximity of Ski Valley to where I live makes it possible to go snowboarding in the morning and then come back down into the valley and jump in the pool and it's like you've had two different vacations in one day. I don't know if there's many places in the world that you can do that in such a short period of time. My name is Graham Davies and I am the area manager for Mount Lemmon Ski Valley. We are on top of Mount Lemmon, about 32 miles outside of Tucson, Arizona. Skiing on Mount Lemmon started probably in the late 40s with um, some airmen from Davis Monthan and they started skiing and it formed into a club. That was the Saguaro Ski Club and then that slowly morphed into Mount Lemmon Ski Valley. People equated to driving basically from the Sonoran Desert to Canada in about an hour. If we had a world map in there, we would have people from all over the world. You know, it's funny because you could sit here and talk in the lift line and you'll find somebody who will say, they were out here from Iowa and they came up here and thought it would be a joke and you know they were had the time of their life. My name is Chris. I'm Sacred. Uh, we homestead in Arkansas. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Came out to snowboard, check out the scenery. We looked it up and found out this was here, which is super convenient for Tucson. It's really warm and nice and yet it's still snowy. It's perfect. It's a really beautiful place, so I'm stoked to check it out and see how it works out. It has been magical up here. I'm wearing, as you can see, just a flannel. I'm not even wearing gloves. It's unbelievable. The snow is light and fluffy. The sun is bright, the skies are blue. I just couldn't ask for a better day up here. There's a two lane highway, uh, 32 miles. It's well traveled. In the winter time, you know, in the last few years, it seems like it's becoming an issue with uh, road closures. Road closures are definitely a major entanglement that we have to deal with. When they do align and that road is opened, it's just beautiful. Even though we're in the desert, when the conditions are like this, we have, you know, two feet of fresh powder in some of these valleys right below us. And all these things have to line up. And when they do, it's, it's magical. Fortunately, the lift lines are short, so you can do a lot of short runs. My mother and father uh, purchased the special use permit to develop a ski area in the late 60s and developed what we know now as Mount Lemmon Ski Valley. My father in college kind of stumbled upon uh, being able to acquire the permit to have a ski area on Mount Lemmon and through all his efforts, uh, put in base facilities, parking lot, ski lifts, so it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. They actually had a ski shop or two in Tucson and Phoenix, and they did uh, skiing and surf uh, supplies, which is really needed in Tucson in the middle of the desert, so they decided to go a step further and try to develop a ski area in the Sonoran Desert, which was either smarter or the dumbest thing ever. You know, it varies year to year. Last year we got 10 weeks. I always would love to try to get 10 weeks out of a ski season. Arizona is you know, it's not known for skiing exactly. For the average Tucsonan or Sierra Vistan or people from south of the border in Mexico, we get a lot from Hermosillo and pennies are tight. It's, it's not a bad thing to just drive up here an hour away, spend a little money and go back home and sleep in your own bed. And we have a lot of people that bring their own lunches and half the time you can walk through the parking lot and we'll give you a hot dog, so you never know. Are you a total genius or have you completely lost your mind? It's a coin toss. Ask me each day and you'll get a different answer. Today I'm a genius, tomorrow I'll be in the nut house.
Hi, I'm Tom McNamara, host of Arizona Illustrated. Thank you for watching this story from our show. And for more local content from Arizona Illustrated, just click right here.